Hi guys, welcome to Classic Connections TV. I'm your host Kendra and today I want to talk about how to make any outfit look expensive. Yes, we are doing style fashion hacks. So I definitely am a woman who enjoys the finer things in life. I'm not gonna lie, but you know, I don't necessarily always have that champagne budget. And you know, I like to look nice but I don't necessarily like to spend a lot of money on everything. I definitely have no problem investing where I think that it counts or where I think that it matters, but over the years, I've found that just little style tweaks or little style hacks or like accessories or things that I can incorporate into my wardrobe make all the difference in the world. Also too, not just with uh, the way that you look, but also too, just the way you feel, the way other people treat you or perceive you. Uh, like I said, I'm a business owner. I've mentioned to you guys that before. And so I like to always put my best foot forward. So style hack number one, a designer scarf. And to be honest, it doesn't have to be designer. It could be any nice quality silk scarf that you can find. You can get them in thrift stores. You can get them all over the place. But the point is, I have a whole collection of scarves and it's so crazy how they can completely transform a look. So today I'm gonna show you a particular scarf. So if any of you guys are familiar with this beautiful orange package, you know that there's something very special inside. So this was definitely a splurge for me. So I bought this on my birthday, I would say about two years ago. And it's the Hermes Maxi Twilly Scarf. So this was actually a limited edition print. And as you can see, depending on how you fold it, different ways uh, it just has different colorways so this scarf oh my goodness I think that out of all the different Hermes scarves and the sizes this the maxi twilly definitely gives you the most bang for your buck uh, I think someone broke it out on a price per square inch or square foot uh, basis so this one actually is comes out to be the cheapest <laughs> it's still a bit of a splurge not gonna even you know lie and pretend that it's not but whenever I wear this, oh, I get so many compliments and it's just a cute way to jazz up any outfit. This one I like a lot because you can tie it in so many different ways. So you can just wear it like this. You can wrap it around and tie it cowboy style. Which brings me to style hack number two, an easy way to make any outfit look expensive, designer shades. So these Prada glasses, I have them in black and I also have them in white. So these, again, these were definitely a splurge. And I've had these glasses, honestly, for like, what, going on four, four years now. And I wear them every single week, almost every day. These are like my signature shades at this point. So these, again, definitely a splurge, but you don't always have to spend a lot of money on designer shades. So you can get them, I get designer shades all the time at like TJ Maxx, Nordstrom Rack is a great place, Century 21 is a phenomenal place to get designer glasses for less. And then even if that's still too much, like if you don't want to pay 50, 100 bucks for your glasses, it doesn't matter. They have designer lookalikes that you can get that look just as nice. So these are some of my favorite glasses that I like to wear. And they're not for everyone. <laughs> I know they're a little bit over the top. But you know what? I have a big head, so I feel like I can get away with oversized shades and like over the top looks. <laughs> so thank you, mom and dad, for those big head jeans. But in any case, these glasses I got for like literally $5 at a place called Girl Props. So I'm not sure if their online store is still open, but again, any sort of glasses that you can get at like you know, Forever 21 or H&M, just look for interesting designs. I think personally that oversized shades are the most glamorous, but again, if it fits your face type, go for it. Style hack number three, a great way to make any outfit look expensive is just to really pair it with bold statement jewelry. So I am a person who definitely likes to switch up my looks, so I don't always invest in high quality jewelry, but I will tell you that for the past, I would say four to five years, I've had two pieces in particular that I spent a lot of money on or a lot of money for me but they have been so worth it because I wear them all the time. So number one is this uh, statement ring from YSL. So this ring, like I said, it was a little bit pricey, but it was so worth it. So this ring, literally, I think I wore this every day for two years straight. Uh, so this was definitely a worthy investment. Another piece that I got 
Um, also, too, you can tell I love those small boxes from Hermes. Uh, actually, I like the big boxes, too, but, uh, <laughs> uh, but this bracelet, I got this Hermes bracelet, and this is actually my second one. The first one got stolen by our movers, so maybe at one point I'll do a chat about that. I've had this Hermes click clack bracelet for a good, like, four or five years, probably even longer than that, and it's just... It goes with everything. They come in multiple colors, so think about the colors that you wear most often. So black and gold, again, it's just so pretty and so elegant, and I wear this all the time. Like, I would say there's rarely a day that I'm without it. But in any case, I've layered it with other pieces, and it just instantly just upgrades my look and adds a touch of elegance to it. And even if my outfit was only, you know, 20 bucks, 50 bucks, if you incorporate these style hacks that I'm sharing with you, you will look so, so great. Like literally, people think that I spend a ton of money on my clothes, and honestly I don't. I'm a pretty uh, economical shopper when it comes to my clothes, but what I will invest are the things that I'm sharing with you right now. So style hack number four, one of my favorite ways to elevate a look is to add a brooch. So the first one is this vintage like poodle brooch. I'm not sure if you guys can focus on that. So this one I actually got on that same trip where we went antiquing. <laughs> um, and it's just such a cute little piece. So it's a poodle um, with studded with pearls and the eyes are like a little uh, faux ruby. And you just pin this little guy on a shirt or a sweater and I've just gotten, it's a little conversation starter. Like people usually don't notice it at first, but then as I'm talking, they're like, oh, that is so cute and so adorable. So a little, little style trick there. Now this, this is my Chanel pin that I got. I got this one on eBay and I would say you can search eBay and you can find reputable sellers. I might do an eBay shopping video um, coming up next. So let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see that. But in any case, this Chanel brooch I bought like several years ago, and I kid you not, this is probably one of like <laughs> the easiest style hacks. Like I could probably say like, forget everything else and just get you a Chanel pin. I pop this baby on everything and it's so funny. So if you've ever been to Zara, they have these blazers that are like those kind of tweedy blazers. I think they call them fantasy blazers. I have no idea why. But I have literally, I have this one jacket, I wear it all the time. And no one ever says anything when I just wear the jacket by itself. But as soon as I pop this brooch on, I get stopped on the street so many times. And people never comment about the brooch itself. They always comment on the jacket. Oh, that's a beautiful jacket. Oh, I love your jacket. So I don't know if they think it's Chanel or if there's some like subliminal thing going on. But yeah, definitely this is a style hack that uh, definitely works. All right, style hack number five. Easy way to upgrade your look and make any outfit look expensive. A strand or in this case, five strands of pearls. So pearls are just, these are just a timeless classic piece. So these are faux pearls that I picked up at J. Crew, but I've had these for years, and they're just a cool way to elevate an outfit. You can get real pearls, you know, for various price points online. Overstock has a really, really great option. So this is just a really great piece. I've had it for years, and I like that you can wear it multiple ways. So I like, you know, I don't like those kind of old ladyish. Actually, I do like old lady pearls, not gonna lie. I like old lady stuff, but <laughs> um, but these are cool and funky because it's just, um, the, the pearls are different sizes. A little trick that I got um, from h and I keep saying H&M. A little trick that I got from J. Crew is just to spin them around like this. And then what you can do is make just a really chunky choker necklace out of it. So these I've gotten a lot of wear out of. I have another pair that's similar with really big pearls. So again, pearl earrings. I'm actually planning to invest in a pair or maybe if someone if someone special is watching this video, you know who you are. Um, I would like a pair of Mickey Moto pearl earrings, just the pearl studs. You can get them on Nordstrom's. I'll put a link in the tab, but the ones I have my eye on are very economical and they're high quality pearls. So just a little, little something out there for you know who you are. <laughs> all right, style tip number six. So we all know that diamonds are a girl's best friend. And of course, diamonds will elevate any look. So I have a few like diamond pieces. Like of course I have my, my wedding bands, but I also picked up this little guy on 
overstock a few years back but these are little individual diamonds uh, so it's not like one solitaire so these you can get very economically but another style hack if you can't afford diamonds but you still want the you want that sparkle and that shine white sapphire white sapphire is like my secret little style hack so I got these earrings and I have had these earrings for like seven years now I love them so much and I get so many compliments and if someone asks are they real I can say yes <laughs> with confidence because they are they're real sapphire but white sapphire is a great stone it looks just like a diamond unless you have like a very trained eye yeah but definitely a style hack that will instantly upgrade your look all right style hack number seven an easy easy way to elevate a look is faux fur so this particular wrap i got a few years ago at zara but if you just take this and put it over just a jacket or elegantly drape it i've worn this out to like fancy events it's like a little wrap you pop that Chanel pin on that bad boy. <laughs> and again, you just look like a million bucks. So I definitely love, love, love faux fur. There are also some great vintage options as well. I have a faux fur vintage jacket. And also too, one of my favorite faux fur pieces, I got this at Banana Republic a few years ago. Again, all this stuff, like I said, you can build it up over time. So all of these pieces, I think pretty much everything I'm showing you, I've had for probably three years or more. So this next piece I got at Banana Republic a few years ago, and it's a faux fur pullover. Also too, it has three quarter length sleeves, so I pair it with these vintage leather gloves. Um, these are not quite elbow length, but oh, this is such a classic look. And I, I just, like I said, whenever I wear this, I just feel like you can't tell me anything. If I have on this with my Olivia Pope gloves, and then I put on my, my designer shades, like honestly, you really can't tell me anything. <laughs> All right, style hack number eight. So this one is probably a no brainer, but a quality handbag. Yes, ladies, a quality handbag will do nothing but serve you well. And this particular one I'm showing you guys. So yes, this is a designer handbag. This is a Chloe handbag. It's the Aurora tote. And I've had this for several, several years. So it's an older piece. So let's have a real talk now about designer handbags. I am not insinuating that you have to go out and spend thousands of dollars on a handbag. If you can afford it and that's how you want to spend your money, hey, more power to you. But it's not about that. It's not about a designer label and it's not about how much money you spend on an item. So I'm going to actually do an upcoming video where I show you my favorite quality handbags that are under $200 because I think that's just very important. So I just want to put that disclaimer out there. So my suggestion would be to definitely invest in 100% leather or there's also some quality vegan leathers if you're you know, not into wearing real leather. But you just want to have something that's quality construction, something with a classic design. You don't want like a plastic handbag you know you want something that's really going to help you to, to elevate and make your look elegant okay all right style hack number nine is a quality watch so a quality watch doesn't have to be a Rolex doesn't have to be a Cartier but those are nice <laughs> like I said the highest quality you can afford this one I've had for years this watch I've probably had for going on 10 years I have a brand called Biloba but it has real diamonds around the face. Um, actually, you know what it is? I saw this watch online at the time and I told my husband, I hinted to my husband, he's the best, um, that I wanted the watch and he got it for me from at Macy's. And I was like, no, 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 honey, you can't get it at Macy's. I was like, they have the same exact watch on Amazon for half the price. So another style hack right there, don't pay a lot of money if you don't have to. If I wanna have it taken in to have it polished or have the uh, crystal replaced because it gets scratched, you can do that. But this watch has lasted me for years. So my style hack number 10, <laughs> a great way to elevate any look and make any outfit look more expensive is to start with a great foundation. So shoes. Shoes will definitely, definitely anchor an outfit. So the shoes that I'm going to show you actually are my two pair of Manolo Blahnik shoes. So these are both the BB Pump. So this first pair here are this gorgeous metallic copper color. The other pair of Manolos, these are also BB Pumps and these are in a classic black suede. So again, between this pair 
and the gold pumps like that are more of like a neutral color that I can wear with anything. I've got like 80% of my shoe needs <laughs> taken care of with just those two pairs of shoes. Oh yeah, also too, I got both of these on sale. So both of these shoes, if you buy them full price, I think that the Manolo BB pumps run about maybe between five and seven hundred dollars depending on the style that you get or the colorway or the fabric and materials. But those shoes, I think I got both of them for about maybe $150 a piece on clearance. So again, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money. So a lot of people, you might think like $150 or $200 for shoes, that's still a lot. Yes, but here is what I will say about that. You can go to Nine West, you can go to Steve Madden, you can go to Aldo and you can maybe get some shoes for $50. Bucks. But I would rather have one pair of Manolos that I got on clearance for, you know, $200 or even $250 and then to have three or four pairs of those other shoes. These will just last a lot longer. They will look a lot nicer. I can't guarantee that they're going to be more comfortable, unfortunately. But no, I will say that those shoes, these shoes in particular, are pretty comfortable, especially compared to like Nine West shoes, which kill my feet oh my goodness <laughs> um, but in any case yeah just shoes I think can make or break an outfit so in any case I hope that you enjoyed my style hacks if I missed something or if you have other tips on how to make any outfit look expensive preferably without breaking the bank uh, definitely let me know in the comments but yeah you don't have to spend a lot of money on everything if you just invest in a few key pieces you can shop at you know, H&M, you can shop at Banana Republic, you can shop at, you know, Target. <laughs> I've had outfits from Target that I've got tons of compliments on. Sometimes some of my favorite outfits are head to toe, you know, Old Navy. But you can just elevate it with just different pieces, different stylings and whatnot. So hopefully I have taught you guys how you can do that today. And hopefully you like this video. If you do like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, and you want to give a thumbs down go to some other channel <laughs> but definitely do rate and subscribe I put out video content weekly that I love to share with you guys so until next time take care be classy and be fabulous